Having siblings can sometimes be very tough. Whether you have one or 14 siblings, younger sisters and older sister, younger brothers, younger and older brothers and sisters, or even having twin siblings, there are some things that they do that just get on your nerves and vice versa. Sometimes you and your siblings could be arguing over the most pointless stuff like sharing food or something now look this ain't a video about hating on siblings because everyone has love for their siblings that's unless if you and your siblings are outliers in which you be hating on each other on some mufasa and scar type of timing and if that's your situation then hey who am i to judge i don't know your situation with your sibling but my point is that having siblings has its highs and it can have its problems as well and because i am a petty guy we're only going to be talking about the things that siblings do that just pisses you off to the point that you end up like this yes, you got that one younger sibling that that randomly comes into your room without knocking says whatever he wants to say and then leave your door wide open now i know i ain't the only one who finds this annoying as hell bro completely invading your private space like you can repeat to this boy so many times to close the door but he still would not listen Rosie will come into the room asking me to play football with him outside and then he'll run out of my room leaving my door wide open like oh my days this guy will make my blood boil from my stomach to my head close the door it's not that of a hard task to do <laughs> trust me it wouldn't harm you just to close it also sometimes younger siblings come into your room to trash it all up like you could have made your room squeaky clean then later your younger siblings come in just to mess it all up they always treat your room like it's theirs like they will go through your stuff use your electronics eat food in your room and even sleep on your bed the worst part is that they got their own room but yet they still proceed to go to your room and claim 100 ownership of it and when you get angry because of that your parents will come in and gaslight you saying stop overreacting he's your brother listen mom i ain't gonna let my bro enter my personal space if he's gonna do this foolishness in my room it's long plus he has his own let him do all that foolishness in his own next you got that sibling eating your food without your consent like you could leave food in the fridge and then a while later all of a sudden the food is gone and guess who ate the food no no take a guess of course it's your younger sibling like this always got me mad when my younger siblings always does this it gets to the point where you have to hide the food so that your younger siblings wouldn't be able to find it and eat it next you always got that younger sibling that is always greedy like for example your parents could buy your younger sibling ice cream and you could ask for one lick but you would never share it what made you this greedy bro don't you know about sharing is caring oh i get it so you don't care about me i'm gonna, I'm gonna start crying noodles head ass by the way if you think i'm a hypocrite i would always share my food with my brother if he asks but eating all my food without my consent is different and straight up taking a piss i'm a be real speaking of crying is it just me or do i find baby siblings crying all the time so annoying crying is normal and every baby does it so yeah i guess you gotta get used to it but when they are crying for no reason whatsoever and crying for a long period of time then that's when it gets a little bit bothersome like your mom could instruct you to babysit your baby sibling then out of nowhere she starts crying so you try to comfort her in any way just to make her stop crying but deep down you're really dreading babysitting like your mind is boiling like a kettle this is why i respect mothers so much because they have to go through this every day i just don't know how they do it now you got a one sibling that gets you in trouble for something that they did and they always got away with everything because they'll bend the truth and parents will believe them instead of you they blame everything on you even if it's not your fault and it pisses you off so you want to get your get back on him but even if you do, bro will snitch on you again. So your younger sibling has indirectly gotten you on a leash. You just can never win, dog. Next, you always got that one sibling using your belongings without asking you, bro. Bro, I have a younger sibling and this guy be stealing all my drippy clothes and my underwear without even asking me. It's like bro's on a mission to enter my whole closet, bro. This always got on my nerves. Like, bro, you have your own clothes. Why are you taking mine? Yours are nicer. Do you think I give a monkey if you like it? It's still mine at the end of the day. Don't take my stuff if I didn't allow you to. Sometimes they even steal your belongings and claim that it's theirs as well. And then they proceed to break it. Sometimes this is why I wish I was the own. Next, you got that sibling acting bare gay in front of you for no reason. I blame TikTok for this. This man is the reason why my brother's doing all this sus shit. My guy is on some sweet home Alabama type of timing. If you want to be gay, that is absolutely an ugly fine just don't do it in front of me please and bro don't tell me that you didn't have that one sibling that is always scared of things that are not scary for example it could be bedtime so you switch off your light and it's dark however your worst fear comes to light your brother starts disrupting you by saying no brother please switch on the light i'm scared of the dark what are you scared of it's not like bozo the clown is going to enter the room in the night stop being a 
post you, bro. And it's like you always got compromised for this boy, bro. It's not like you have a choice, so you have to switch on the light for the whole night so that your younger sibling is comfortable. The next day, you wake up be looking like this because you couldn't even sleep for the whole night because of your, your younger sibling being afraid of the dark. Speaking of waking up, you always have that one sibling that just wakes you up for the most stupidest reasons. Like the way this man just woke you up. You would think that there's an emergency, but nah. This brother woke you up because his favorite movie got announced. Bro, you just woke me up just for that. You silly little man child, small little brat of a child. Next, you always got those spoiled siblings that want everything. This girl thinks that money grows on trees. It's not been a single day where this girl keeps saying, please buy me this. Oh, please buy me that. Like all my days, I'll buy you a salad tape so you can stick it in your mouth and shut up. Like, do you get what I mean? We could go to the shop and she will be asking for the most expensive stuff in the store. For your information, do you think I am Elon Musk to be fooled in any of this? Money doesn't rain from the sky, you know. They would also never eat what mother cooks because she wants her favorite food all the time. These foods will either be candy, hot dogs or ramen. If she gets anything other than those foods, yeah, she will spill all that food on the floor creating a mess. And the worst part is that she doesn't have to clean after herself. You do. The parents always give them the most attention, so of course they're going to be spoiled. Now as far as for all the siblings, <sighs> There's always that one sibling that be bossing you around all the time, like he has superiority over you. Like this guy could be just one year older than you, yet he thinks he's the emperor of the house and thinks he can tell you what to do all the time. Like bro, I ain't a kid no more and you're not my parent. Just because you're older doesn't mean you have complete authority. Now according to my calculations, I've checked that I have an IQ high enough to do things by myself without any guidance so stop telling me what to do my guy like i am tired of this bossing me around acting like you're the top dog you're not the top dog g you know like that next when your older siblings go through your phone without your consent who do you think you are taking my phone and going through it i do not care if you're older like i never got why older siblings do this and think is an acceptable thing to do it's like they genuinely think that they can take over your life and your privacy and they get to decide things for you for some reason what makes you think you can go through my phone my guy like bro this is my property this is my personal electronic why are you going through it bro it's it's just you can't be personal these days like bro they always invade your privacy plus why are you nosy why are you trying to know what i'm trying to do it's none of your concern just focus on your own stuff bruh now she always got that older brother pranking you in any way shape or form when you tell them to stop doing this of course they will not listen and when he lash out on them they will gaslight you saying why are you overreacting it's just for fun just for fun <laughs> just for fun so if i break your computer that you hold dearly just for fun would you like that you big goofy or big forehead drunk hard human of a human person next you always have that one sibling playing either videos or music so loud that you can't even hear yourself to think absolutely no respect for me trying to study for an exam or sleep like bro will just casually play the most bass boosted loud ass music not just disturbing me but everyone in the house broski if you could do me a favor and turn down that trash music before I break that speaker. I do not care who you are, you're really pushing your luck and I hate everything you do. Next, you have that older brother that be low-key bullying you though. Like he always treats you like a loser. Because he's physically stronger, you're helpless so you can't even defend yourself. And the worst thing you can do is to snitch to your parents because he will keep that fatal offense to heart. And when you and your older sibling are alone, then oh my god, it's over. Next, you have that older brother that will never listen to you. They won't listen to you either because they think that you're stupid because you're younger it doesn't matter if you have a stance on something they will still cover their ears because they ain't listening to a little child who doesn't know anything apparently even if they're objectively wrong they will still not listen it's like they're never open to anything bro and eventually when their younger brother stopped talking to the older brother the older brother now be wondering why oh why does my brother don't talk to me like why because bro you never listen to him so you can't be surprised in that bro all the siblings can also be greedy as well so it really goes both ways like all the siblings will never let you use the things that they never use for example your older siblings could have a clothes that they never wear so you ask them to wear it for the one time but they'll be like no 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 oh come on you're not even using it what's going on let me just use it for myself at least it will not be a waste go join the patreon or the channel membership for some nice perks and like subscribe and share that's what you enjoy the video other than that that's it cheers